Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Residential Gardens. Do a quick update today. My last video was four days ago. So I want to show you some of the progress that's going on. Good. My squash is doing pretty good. The beans, not too bad. It's way too hot right now, so. Oh, wait a minute. There's one there. Oh. Yep, yeah, one fell off right there, so we'll see what happens. This one still didn't come back yet. See a couple new leaves. See what happens. The ghost peppers are doing pretty good. There's a few flowers. Not bad. There's two there. A few more starting. Carolina Reapers. There's a flower. There's another one. Is there any on this one? No, I don't I don't see any open on this one. I see a lot of buds though. But the main reason for this update is a cherry tomato. That was done with the uh General Hydroponics Flora Grow Series four days ago was 15 inches tall. Today, the highest leaf is about 20 and a half, 20 and three quarters. Not bad. Pepper plant's doing really well. It's got a couple in there. This tomato, eh, it's getting a little thicker than the other one. Same solution, same age. It's just, they're growing different. This one seems stronger. But the purpose of today's video is that we're going to do two different ones here. We're going to use one, one container. We're going to go back to using the Flora Grow series. I received... General Hydroponics Maxi Grow yesterday in the mail. It's the powder. It's a 10514. It comes with a scoop. It comes with a teaspoon and a tablespoon scoop. We're going to try that. So we're going to do one with the Maxi Grow and then one with the Flora Grow series. And we're going to see what makes a difference. And what we're going to use for that is I'm going to grab two of my closest bell peppers, closest to the same size. I don't know if I have them in here. Maybe this one and this one. This one looks a little older. Maybe these two. Those two right there in the middle. They look about the same. Yeah, we'll grab those two and we'll try it. We'll throw them in some walk wool, rock wool, and then we'll set them up. I already pre-filled them with water. So I just have to measure it, throw it in there. So if I mix the floor grow series to the aggressive vegetative growth stage, it's only going to equal 21, 6, 10. This is 10, 5, 14. I mean, you can use 1 to 2 per gallon of fresh water. So we're just going to use 1. Maybe two. I might change my mind. Now, if you want to check the pH on these, you need you know get one of these things. Real easy. So the pH of the water is seven nine to start.
that one's 8.07 that's the same water filled them up both at the same time hmm. but you don't want to adjust the pH first because once you add everything it's the pH is going to change there's a lot of pH buffers are mixed up. Now, the Maxi Grow from General Hydroponics, one and two teaspoons per gallon of fresh water. Open it up. Comes with this nice little scoop. It's got one on both sides. A teaspoon and a tablespoon. So we're going to do a teaspoon. definitely a lot easier so far I like the maxi grow better a lot easier stir it up check that out 6.5 that's why you don't adjust the pH in the beginning 6.57 okay so they have pH buffers in them already parts per million of dissolved salts that is 170 come on 167 times 10, 1,670. That was on the floor growth series. That's only 866. An 866 is a little low. I like it, you know, a little higher. Somewhere around 14, 1500. Mm, a little high. 1760. 176 times 10. Oh. 1670. Now it's 1670. Which is dead on to that one. Same. 1670. Alright, so you have to use two scoops. Two scoops of the Maxi Grow, two teaspoons per gallon, which equal the same as the Floor Grow series, which is kind of a pain in the butt to use. You know, I like the sim simplicity of this; is amazing. So we'll put the put the net cups in there. Grab some rock wool, throw it in there, and let it soak up its own nutrients for a minute. While we come over here and we grab. Our test subjects and take the rock wool, split it apart like that. And then you want to take your little mini me, put it in there so the roots are just sticking out like that so it can hit the water. Gently put it in the cup so that the roots come out the bottom. And there we go. And just drop it in place. Now these air stones are probably way too big for a one gallon. They put out an extreme amount of air.
do an update on it in a couple of weeks once I get acclimated to it. Almost forgot the clay pebbles. Stop the algae. Some of these things are pretty big. It'd be nice if they were all all small for the little guys. Maybe knock some of these big ones out of here. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Pop up out of there. there we go. And that's it.